Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an inventory update for 2022. So this will be my first inventory video of the new year. And I know it's like already February, but I did want to update my spreadsheet because I honestly haven't touched it since like October of last year. So I went through and updated it for like the last hour and a half today. And I figured I'd share my numbers with you guys because I did just do a makeup declutter, a body care declutter. I just used up like a bunch of candles. So I my numbers, I feel like are in a really good place. So I'm going to walk through um, by numbers of everything basically. I have my makeup, candles, body care, and skin care. Oh, and hair care. So I have all those categories um, and the numbers for those from last year compared to this year. And then kind of just an update for you guys on where I'm at with as far as like buying and things like that. So um, if you are interested, I will list my uh, inventory spreadsheet down below in a um, like you can view it, but can't comment or can't um, adjust it or anything. It's just on Google Sheets. Um, and I was actually inspired to track my inventory by my friend here on YouTube. Ashley Nicole. So I will also link her channel down below. Um, but she was the reason why I started tracking my inventory. And I started that I believe at the end of 2020, or maybe the beginning of 2021. Um, I think the end of 2020, though, because I have some numbers on here that are from 2020. Um, but yeah, she inspired me to start taking inventory of my collection. And so I have been doing that. Um, the only thing that I don't currently track is my wax stash. Um, and that means like wax melts because I feel like I'm not at a place yet where I need to track them. Um, also, I leave them downstairs and I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work whenever I do move out of my parents' house. Um, so I haven't started tracking them yet. I might once I do move out. I'm still unsure of that yet. So that's the only thing I'm not keeping track of right now. But anyways, I'm going to, I have my laptop right over here. So if you see me looking over, that's what I'm looking at. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on all the numbers. Okay, before we do that. I'm going to put on some hot cocoa and cream because my hands are so dry. It has been freezing here in Texas and Houston for like actually all of January. It's been pretty cold here and we never usually get long periods of cold. Like maybe it'll be one or two weeks, but pretty much all of January has been cold so far. So, okay. Anyways, and I am pre-recording this. Sorry if me saying January is throwing you off because I know this is going to go up in February. But anyways, let's start off with the sections I know you guys are going to be way more interested in. And so let's start with candles. Okay, right now I have 19 three wick candles and I put down for a goal for myself to get down to 10 at least by SAS. So really just like reducing it by half um, until SAS, which I plan on probably purchasing some in the spring and such, but I will be putting myself on a two out one in rule, which basically means if I use up two candles, then I can buy one new candle. Um, so if I use up two, then I will be able to purchase a new one for like the spring or summertime, which there are a few out for the spring that already look really good. Like I definitely wanna pick up blueberry pie. I'm so excited that one's back. Um, so I just wanna be cognizant of still using up stuff before I purchase things, um, but I do plan on using up, at the rate I'm at, I'm using about four a month um, on average. So I feel like I could definitely do that and that allows me to buy two a month, which is like a really great, I think that's really great. Um, I probably won't ever buy two a month, but maybe one month I'll buy four, one month I'll buy none, you know. And then for one wick candles, I have three of those currently and my goal is to bring that down to two which is very possible. I'm actually almost done with one of them already. Um, but that brings my total for candles to 22. And I started in 2021 with 45 candles and that was after candle day and after winter SAS in 2021. So I've reduced that size by half, which is really great in my opinion. And actually on my um, goal for my through it candles on my spreadsheet from 2021, my goal was to have 19 and I have 19. So I did hit my goal from last year, which is really great to see. 
I think I'm just being a little more mindful about what candles I purchase and waiting until sales. And then just like by way of waiting, I end up using up more than I would have if I just like purchased it right then, right when they came out. Um, instead of waiting for a really good sale, using up a few more candles and then purchasing more. Okay, body care, um, I will, I'll go by each category. Um, it might get a little long, but um, shower gels, I have seven. Lotions, I have seven. So both of those I wanna get down to four, which is basically just like a little bit, is less than half, um, but I just wanna use some up. <clears throat> body butters, I only have one. Body sprays, I have 13, and I wanna get three used up this year. Last year I used up two, so I think that is kind of reasonable for me to be able to use up three this year. I'll just focus on them a bit more. I have five body creams right now, and I'd like to get that down to two, hopefully um, sooner rather than later because some of those scents might go bad soon. Um, for body oils, I have two, and they're both the same, the Eucalyptus and Mint um, Stress Relief Body Oil from Bath & Body Works. It's my favorite. Um, I do have the goal to only have one at a time of those. For minis, I have nine, and my goal is to only have five left, which those are pretty easy to use up, and I am going on a few trips soon, so I think that it's gonna be very reasonable for me to try and finish them up. Hand soaps, I have eight, and so I will be, I am not quite sure how my hand soap collection is gonna go um, whenever I move out. I think I'm gonna bring most of them with me, but leave some for my parents, um, so, I wanna half that size down by like four, I guess. So we'll just see how that works. Um, pocket backs, I only have five that I'm tracking. I'm really not tracking pocket backs anymore because I just leave them downstairs and my mom uses them or my dad or my brother or whatever. And we just like pick one up as we leave. So it's like right next to our face masks. So we'll pick up a face mask, pick up a hand sanitizer and leave. So I'm really not tracking them too much, but right now I have five that I'm tracking. Um, not really trying to reduce that at all. I have six wallflowers. Um, my goal really for wallflowers is to never purchase them full price. So I really don't care how many I have because they don't take up a lot of space. And I use one about every one and a half months. Um, so I really don't have a goal to kind of shrink that collection. For room sprays, I do have three and I do want to reduce that by one. So I want to only have two. For hand lotions, I have five, and I'd like to uh, reduce that to only two. So those are pretty easy for me to use up. I love, I enjoy using them, so that won't be hard. For perfumes, I have nine, and I would like to really focus on my perfume collection this year and downsize it a lot. Um, so I have six as my goal, which is not too many. That's just using up three. Um, but for me, I am not a perfume user. So it's been kind of hard to try and get myself to use up stuff, but I am pretty far. So like I'll show you my Victoria's Secret Tees Heartbreaker. Um, I am more than halfway done with. So I feel like if I focused on my perfumes a little more, I could definitely get them used up. So that one I'm gonna kind of challenge myself for this year. For body scrubs, I have three and I'd like that to get that number down to two. Um, I'd like to keep one coarse body scrub and one like softer, more gentle body scrub going like at all times um, because I've noticed I really only use the coarse, harsh ones once a week and then the softer ones I'll use like three or four times a week. So I just want to keep a good range going of both of those. For car scent refills, I currently have three and I'd like to get the down to one. Really also these as well as wallflower refills. Um, I want to keep buying them when they're on sale and only buying them when they're on sale. So I'm really not tracking how many I have. Like I'm not worried about how many I have or how many I'm using. So that one to me is like not bad. And then I have one Vanilla Bean Noel bubble bath. So I'm actually about to use it up. I just used most of it last night in, in a bath that I took. And so if I take one more bath, I'll probably finish it off. So right now my body care collection is at 87. And for reference, I started in 2021 with 138 products. 
So that's really good. I also just did a huge um, body care declutter. And so you can check, I will link my uh, Mercari down below if there's still stuff available. Um, you can check that out for um, pricing of those. I have some stuff listed on there. So um, yeah, that's my body care. I'm pretty happy about that. I wanna keep that pretty low. I just get very overwhelmed when I have too much and I don't know what to choose and it just makes me anxious. So trying to keep that under a certain amount. Okay, for skincare, I have eight sheet masks right now. They're all Tony Moly sheet masks. I have six um, other face masks, like cream face masks that I'm using currently. I have two face oils. I have three face serums. I'm actually about to use up one. I have three face washes, one moisturizer, two toners, um, one mini, two makeup removers, two acne products, one eye cream, uh, one foot mask, <laughs> one uh, exfoliator, physical exfoliant, which I'm trying to finish up because I don't want to be using that. That's not supposed to be good for your skin. I have one sunscreen and three lip scrubs. So total, I have 36 skincare items. And for reference, I started out last year at 75. So I've reduced that, not, well, yeah, I guess by half. Yeah, I've reduced it by half, so that's really good. So I'm pretty happy with my skincare, like, skincare collection. I have been trying to reduce the number of things that I have that are repeats, like all the face masks that I have. Um, all the like spreadable face masks, not sheet masks. I'm trying to use those up and finish them and then only have like one type going at a time. So like one clay mask, one hydrating mask, one pore mask. So trying to reduce the size because for a while there I was purchasing like a lot at a time. Um, so I'm really trying to reduce that collection as far as like repeats of things. So I've been doing pretty good with my skincare. I'm happy about that. For my hair care collection, I have one shampoo. It's the jumbo giant ones that you get from Ulta. So I have one shampoo. I have three conditioners and I'm including my like conditioning mask as one of my conditioners. I have one hairspray, four hair oils, which I'm really trying to use up and only have one of, but those have been since like college days. So some of those are close to four years old. So I'm really trying to use up all my hair oil repeats that I have. Uh, one leave-in treatment, two curly hair products, uh, two heat tool products, seven styling products. So this can be um, dry shampoos. This is um, like voluminizing, like volume powders that you put in your hair and volume hairsprays that I have left over from college from doing color guard hairstyles. Um, so I'm gonna try and do more hairstyles lately and try and like actually style my hair like that, like I used to. Not really, not necessarily teasing, but kind of teasing it, but more like styling my hair and using up those products. So I'm really trying to get that collection down. Um, for my like scalp itch products, I have three of those. And for minis, I have five, so. My total uh, hair care collection is at 29. And for reference, I started out 2021 with 52. So I'm also dramatically reducing that collection as well. Hearing those numbers just sounds so amazing. Honestly, it sounded so far-fetched last year when I was saying all my goal numbers. Um, but really, all I did was only repurchase the things that I loved and finished up everything else. So like I probably started out last year with quite a few hairsprays, but I only love one of them. So I only repurchased that one and just focused on finishing up the other ones and only repurchased the one that I love. So that's also what I did with shampoo conditioner once I found what worked, um, which is the Joyco Moisture Recovery and the Derma E, I can't remember what it's called, but like this, it's for scalp, it's for itchy scalps. Um, both of those are like my favorite, so I only repurchase those. So that's kind of really helped me with reducing my collection size. Um, for makeup, I'm pretty proud of this because I actually just did a declutter for my makeup as well. For face primer, I have three. Setting spray, I have three. I have one eye primer, two foundations, four concealers. I have um, three face powders, two bronzers, 
I have eight highlights, which I probably could reduce that, but I didn't want to let go of them just yet. Um, I have nine blushes. It's a lot of blushes, but I really like blush. Uh, I have five face palettes. I have five brow products, five eyeliners, three mascaras, nine eyeshadow palettes, one single shadow, two liquid shadows, 13 lipsticks, 11 lip glosses, 5 lip liners, and 8 lip balms. So my total for my makeup products is 102 makeup products. My goal is to get to 90 or even 80 at the end of this year. Um, and for reference, at the start of 2021, I had 162. So, so I reduced my makeup collection by 60, either through decluttering or through using up stuff. And in 2020, I started out the year with 200. So from 200 down to 102. That's amazing. So I also had the, the same philosophy as my hair care for my makeup. If you don't like it, finish it up and don't repurchase it. Um, and get, so I will use my like brow collection for reference. I probably had like close to 12 brow products. Um, used up every single brow gel that I owned and only repurchased the one single one that I loved, which actually I don't have a brow gel that I love right now yet. So still working on that one. Um, but same thing goes for like mascaras, use up everything and only repurchase that one that you love. So that's what I've been doing for my makeup, hair care and skincare. Um, Skincare has been a little hard because I'm trying to find what works for my skin and actually my skin has been doing a lot better as far as like the acne that I have on my cheeks. So I think whatever's working now is working. So that's pretty good, which I've been starting, not been starting retinol. I started retinol in summer of 2021. So it's been about seven months. So I think it's finally kicking in, could be a combination of things, but yeah. So that's my whole collection um, for candles. That's really the only thing that I have the two out one in rule going for. Um, for body care, I'm really just focusing on using up stuff. I don't really wanna limit myself for body care, but typically what I do anyways is the spring and the summer, I just flat out don't buy stuff. I don't find that I like need it. Spring and summer scents aren't my favorite. I really love the fall and winter scents. Um, so I just find that I don't use the spring and summer um, specific scents. So I just don't purchase a lot during spring and summer for body care at least. So it's really not that hard for me to stay away from purchasing stuff. If anything, I will get it with my um, free rewards on the Bath & Body Works app. But yeah, I'm not really limiting myself too much on body care. I just know that I don't really want to purchase a lot of stuff. So I guess you could say I'm on a low buy for body care. And for candles, I'm on the two out one in rule. Um, for skincare, hair care, and makeup, I'm really just continuing what I was doing last year, which is just using up everything and only repurchasing the things that I love. Um, so that's kind of the goals there, but that's everything for my 2022 inventory update. I'll probably be doing these like quarterly or just really as often as I think there's change. Um, I'm not really sure that I'm going to keep like a monthly tally going as far as how many things I used up, which is what I was doing pretty much all of last year because I don't really think I need to. I've been using up stuff pretty steadily. So I'm just gonna keep um, updating this one spreadsheet whenever I use up or buy certain things. Um, and that's really just gonna, how, gonna be how I um, track progress. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was a little motivating to you to hear my numbers compared to last year. To me, it is like a breath of fresh air. I'm super ecstatic about where this is going very happy that my collection is diminishing as far as makeup hair care and skin care and candles actually and body care but body care needs a little work so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye